Hey, hey folks, this is Craig Favre here, and today we're doing a taste test. What are we tasting, Craig? The Tangy Pickle Doritos. Mm. That's right, Tangy Pickle. And we're going to taste this Drink. here. Read it for yourself. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce any of that. I got this at the Italian, the Italian grocery store when we went. It's been a few months ago, probably by now. And I keep meaning to try it. So tonight, we'll try it with our tangy dill pickle Doritos. What do you think? Do you think you're going to like those Doritos, Craig? Yes. Well, you do like dill pickle flavor, don't you? What about me, Craig? Do you think I'm gonna like them? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Okay, here goes. Here goes. Here. They certainly smell like dill. Oh, look at the camera. Just let me see you. See Ooh. how you feel. Mmm. Mm. Tastes like pickles to me. You like it? Mm-hmm. Very tangy. They're, they're okay. <laughs> I don't like the dill taste with the corn chip. Yeah. If you don't like it, I'll uh, take it. <laughs> Come on. You can have it. I would like that on a regular potato chip, but the corn and the dill taste don't go together to me. Those are different. If those are the only thing, only chips, and I wanted chips with like a burger or something. I'd they maybe, might be better. Maybe yeah. eat three or four of them. I know, maybe with we'll dip or something. All right, yeah, let's I mean, try I this. Like, I don't like uh, pickles on this. my hamburgers either, okay. so. No, no. <clears throat> oh. it's, got it? a, it's got a fruitiness Ooh. on the nose. I like it. <laughs> Melon grano and arancia. I have no idea. But um, it looks like pomegranate yeah. and orange on the front of it. I can't see it really, unless you bring it up forward. Mm -hmm. yeah, whatever that is. There's 120 mm -hmm. calories for one pan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. What do you think, Craig? Mm, they taste delicious. Yeah, I really like this. It's kind of like a nice fizzy juice. Craig? Kind of has a taste of if, uh, like a mixed drink. Where they, yeah. They put stuff together to come up with a flavor. Yeah, you could probably add vodka or something to that to make a mixed drink. Yeah. yeah. yeah or whatever not... you put in mixed drinks. I don't know. Yeah, it depends on what you put in. Vodka's the tasteless this one, is... though, though, right? Well, yeah. Kind I of. mean. Yeah, this is this would be a vodka or a light rum. I would think you put in. You, you're not gonna put any of the dark liquors in this. It's too. It's a little too too sweet. No bourbon. So, Craig, what's going on this week? What do we have coming up? Disney on Ice and Festivals of Trees and Lights. That's tomorrow, right? Yep. We're going to have a full day tomorrow. Me yep. and Craig and Stephanie and Libby. Mm -hmm. We're going to start out by eating at Famous Dave's. Yeah. And then we're going to go do a little shopping probably at, at home. Mm -hmm. Maybe World Market. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, because it's over in that area. And then we'll go to Festival of Trees and Lights. Mm -hmm. And then from there, mm -hmm. we will go to Disney on Ice. And what's Disney on Ice about this year? Do you know? Um, well, you know what the Frozen? show is? Yeah, it's the Frozen show. And you're pretty excited about that, aren't yep. you? Mm -hmm. What are you the most excited about for tomorrow? The Trees and Lights Festival. Yeah. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> Disney on Ice? Nope. You think it's Famous Dave's well, yeah, you're, you're most Famous Dave's. Famous I don't know. Dave's. Craig just likes a day out. But I enjoy the Festival of Trees and Lights. And what that is, is it's a fundraiser. Uh, it costs like $5 to get in. And you get, like, and I think, if I remember, you get five tickets. Can I you still have yeah, the and you, you, vote vote on, on, you vote on the trees. On bulb, please? Yeah, when well, we're done, okay? Okay. Yeah, uh, you get tickets and you vote on... Which tree? There's trees from different organizations, um, and they're usually themed. And you vote on which one you like best, and then the money from that, the money from the show goes to charity plus 
I think they donate the trees. Well, I know that last year when we were at Ronald McDonald House, they had donated like four trees to the Ronald hey, McDonald hey, House. Hey. So um, Craig and I might be seeing them there. But And they usually have other things going on too. Like they'll have gingerbread house making and um, they have things you can buy, like a little kind of market thing where you can buy things. So yeah, they got vendors out yeah, there. Yeah, vendors. That's the word I was looking for. I think I even got a shirt from there the last time we went. Um, what else are we doing this week, Craig? Do you know what else is on our agenda? Volunteer. We'll be volunteering on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. We both have haircuts this week, right? Mm -hmm. We need to get a pedicure. Mm -hmm. Uh, we need they to... need to get a pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> we need to take the cans and bottles back. Well, what about the movie? Oh, well, that's right. Monday's the movie. What movie are we seeing? Wish. <laughs> Craig's been excited to see the movie Wish. So it's going to be a very busy week. Uh, I'm glad we don't have anything going on Friday. What's happening on Friday, do you know? We're going to go to the Florida. Well, Friday, during the day, we're going to the Chris Kindle Market which is a principal park, which is a German Christmas market where they have vendors and mainly vendors, <laughs> all kinds of German Christmas traditions. They have live music. Uh, they hand out samples. I think some places do. Were they handing out samples of them? Maybe we bought the mold wine. Bought it. Uh, yeah. But they have all kinds of uh, yeah. German treats. It's, yeah. it's fun. It's there's, just so there's usually four or five authentic German beers there. And... Mm -hmm. You know, not just like uh, can I go or now? something like that. So. <laughs> just a minute. Yeah. Um, and then on um, Saturday night, what we're we doing? We're going to Florida, the hotel. No, no, fr Friday night. And then Saturday we go to Florida. Yep. yep. So only mm. one week from today till we leave, right? Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. we got to quit these vacations, Craig. What? <laughs> And this is Craig Evara saying, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> good night. Have these Doritos in a bowl, please. Yeah. So just wanted to kind of test race with everyone. I haven't filmed a lot the last few days. We've just been busy with Thanksgiving and we had the girls here and I didn't want to go out and do anything um, the last few days because I knew it was going to be crazy everywhere with all the, the Black Friday shopping and I figured the restaurants. So didn't we go decided, anywhere on Black Friday. Nope, and we didn't. Well, like, or did you go to the store? I did go to the store. Yeah. I forgot about that. But yeah. we just kind of been laying low and taking it easy. And but starting tomorrow, we'll be back going full force. So look for more videos. Uh, I do plan on putting up videos when we're in Florida, probably shorter ones. But I do plan on putting out videos every day. Um, We're planning on Vlogmas for uh, that's right. Bourbon and Birds. So I have a video to put out on Bourbon and Birds, too. Yeah. I think it's still on your phone. I thought I gave it to you. Uh -uh. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, so I have another video to put out. For, well, actually, two more for Joe's channel, but I'll probably put them out separately. Um, and then, yes, Joe's doing Vlogmas. We're going to be doing Vlogmas also. Mine will be the 12 Bourbons of Christmas. <laughs> or, no, 25 Bourbons of Christmas. Right? Right. Yeah, 25. Yeah, I had up my... I thought it was 12. Nancy's like, no, it's, it's 25. It's like, oh. the whole time. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's not the 12, 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> That's... Well, <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's going to be weird when I get to on the 22nd day of Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Yeah. Uh, we had a good Thanksgiving with our family. Ate too much, that's for sure. We were all so tired after lunch. Like everybody just wanted to go, except yeah. for the girls. Yeah. <laughs> and one time or another, everybody was in the bed. Most of us had congregated into the living room. One mm -hmm. time or another, everybody except for Bennett's wife, yeah. really, had, I think had dozed off. Yeah, because right? she was putting a puzzle together. Yeah, she was constantly. Which I tried to help with, but I got even more tired doing that. So the trip to Pan worked. <laughs> Man, yeah. I did eat a lot more turkey than I usually do. I usually don't eat very much turkey and I hit the sides, but I had a little more turkey. Turkey was good. Uh, the brining, did it make a difference? I don't know. Uh, I, I had, the one piece I had that was was up close to the skin, 
and mm -hmm. the skin was touching yeah. and I think the brine soaked through. I it was pretty good. Definitely things I'd do different next time. I'd never brined a turkey before, but I should have uh, lifted up the skin and put the brine underneath the skin because the way I did it, it really mostly was on the skin. So yeah, and if you wanted to do some like the night before for the any kind of oh no, you use the actual drippings as a brine, right? What no. you use for the brine? You made it was sure? made it from salt and brown sugar. Oh, and, and butter and, and, and then you smoked paprika. Yeah. But someone sent me a really good uh, brine recipe that sounded really good. I'd like to try too. Yeah, the time that uh, Ryan and I smoked a couple of turkeys and we brined it similar to that with like, it, it was like an orange juice brine base, a citrus base, and it was really good. And we actually, our recipe, you had to take your hand, you had to stuff your hand around in the, under the skin to make mm -hmm. get big cavities. And then we poured some of the, the brine mixture in there and then stuffed uh, orange slices up underneath the skin and everything. And, and it was it was pretty good, pretty good turkeys, but boy, they got ate so fast. Uh, we took it to, we took both of them to a potluck at 3M and they were poof and they were gone. I didn't get back around for seconds, but you get a lot of, that's a nice turkey. <laughs> So on to Christmas, and we're going to have a short time to get ready for Christmas because of our we've been, trip. We've been getting ready for Christmas for a month and a half. I know, we have been, <laughs> and that's why I started doing it early, because yeah. I knew I'd, I wouldn't have as much time. I, I'm just not sure how much baking I'm going to get done this year, because um, we have a lot going on between the time we get home and Christmas, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. One thing I'd like to have in the house around Christmas, we need to, uh, I mean, the best is if you go down to Pella, but get some uh, some dried beef. I was just thinking, and, like, we had leftover rolls from Thanksgiving, yeah. and I was thinking, oh, I wish I had some dried beef yeah. for these. I don't know yeah. if you've ever had dried beef. It's it's a Dutch thing. As I far guess. as we know. Yeah, that's, because it, we, that's where the only place we ever saw it or heard of it for years was over in Pella. Which is a Dutch community. Highly Dutch community, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we should try to take a trip over there during Christmas time because they really do it up over oh, there, yeah. and it's yeah. it's very charming. I would yeah. say it's touristy. Yeah, it's, it's definitely very... a destination Pella, if you come Pella to Iowa. Pella is a tourist town, mm -hmm. they, and they they rely it, heavily on tourism. Mm -hmm. They take it seriously. They yeah. have a lot of little shops and mm -hmm. restaurants, and they yeah, you're just always, so pretty over there. You always hear, you know. Small towns, you know, the squares are closing down and everything. And the town Knoxville we were from is was suffering from that all the time. Mm -hmm. Pella's not that way because of their tourism and everything with the tulip time. And they find something to to get people in all the time. Yeah, they and don't. I mean, the most, their shops are of, all full. Yeah, a lot of the shops are more touristy kind of things. Yeah, but. They, they do definitely... have two two super nice bakeries over mm -hmm. there. Used to have two, but they do have a meat they're market. Both still open. I can't remember if there's two meat markets or one over there. Well, it used to be two. The one guy got in trouble. Yeah, so I don't know if it's still yeah. there or not. So I don't know if the other one. While. Could be the other one bought them out. They have a restaurant that serves Dutch uh, foods. I can't remember what that's called now. That was fairly new the last time we stayed at the cabin. We went there and got food, and it was really good. And they have several different little restaurants up on the square. Yeah. There's a strip mall kind of thing just mm -hmm. off the square, about a block. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got a it's got a nice little moat going through it. Yeah, we'll definitely take a trip. They call it a canal, days. but it's a moat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Canals lead from point A to point B. This just starts at the end of a street and ends like two streets down. <laughs> that's not, that's yeah. a moat. It, <laughs> In May, they have a tulip festival, which brings mm -hmm. in so many people, and they have a, a lot of um, Dutch traditions that go yeah. on during that. Yeah. That's where my dad's side of the family, are, you know, they all were from Pella. And most most of them end up moving out of Pella. I was going to say, not in the end, but yeah, in the beginning they yeah. were. Mm -hmm. um, so that's really about all I can think of now. I've been hooked on the... Baking championship, the Christmas baking championship lately. I've been watching a lot of that. Um, the shows are so rigged. 
I still like watching it. I like to watch what they create. <laughs> yeah. and... You can pretty much tell in the first couple episodes who's going to win it. Because it's usually the person you don't want to win it. <laughs> and that's who wins it. And, of course, all the vlogs. And some Christmas movies, too. Some? <laughs> yeah. A few. Quite a, a few. Quite a few Christmas movies. That's what I'm supposed to do this time of the year. Um, but that's really all that's been... <laughs> that's really all that's been going on around here. We just got a... Well, we got about a quarter inch of snow tonight. Mm -hmm. Kind of unexpected. I don't... Like a lot of people, you know, with network TV, you know, going on the wayside and people not on the dish as much as they used to. I don't watch a lot of local news, so yeah. I don't I don't see much of the weather unless usually just like everybody else. I ask uh, I ask my echo that's in our bedroom, you know, what the forecast is. And I'm like, oh, really? It's supposed to be like that? Okay. Mm -hmm. I always look on my phone at my weather app. So, But it's helped because now we have one of our local channels. We've got them on YouTube. So mm -hmm. their their feed on weather and everything comes up there. So mm -hmm. I'm definitely seeing a lot more than I used to because of that. Yeah. Yep. So I'll put a little video of the snow in. When it started, I thought it wasn't going to snow hardly at all. And now there's some coverage on things yeah, so there's, there's a good quarter inch i i went out there and when i went to get i had to get the bird feeders before the raccoons would come and decimate them and tear try to tear them up but i actually had a shovel out there and i just i pushed at least a quarter inch of snow off my deck you know and wood wood's super cold so the they the snowflakes started landing on it and staying the instant you know that i didn't have to wait for anything to get cooled down like you know cars maybe or even concrete takes a while for it to get cold enough for the snow to stick to. Yeah, it's... it's oh I God. don't know if it's still snowing or not. It is spitting it just a little down. bit still. They said it's supposed to do that like halfway through the night. It's very pretty. Yeah. If it keeps up that, we'll have about a half of an inch here. Which is... That's a good amount. You don't clean that up. Well, you can with a broom. Or I get... I don't know if anybody else likes snows. I get my, uh, my yard blower out there. I just blow it off it works out it works pretty good think about getting a, a big one that where it hooks on my side and then you put your arm through it and it's got a it's almost like a fighter pilot thing on the end of it it's supposed to be easier on you but it blows like 200 200 foot per minute or something like that more than what the one i got right now does so we'll see all right i think with that we'll go ahead and say good night and We'll see you tomorrow with a more exciting vlog, I hope. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Fireworks, jugglers, circus <laughs> elephants. Well, you could juggle. <laughs> I bet I can't hardly at all. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll see you later. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Bye. Hi there. And today we're packing up my bags. We're getting ready uh, for Florida. We leave in... December 1st. Yeah, so a week and a day, right? Yep. And we need to get packed because we have a lot of things going on this week. So we're taking today to get our bags as packed as we can. And what are you holding up there, Craig? My Star Wars Grogu shirt. Yes, yeah, so we're going to take that along for a pajama shirt, right? Right. Craig likes to have shirts and shorts to change into when we get back to the... Well, this time it's a condo. Just so he can feel comfortable, and he's taking the Grogu shirt, and let's show him our other pajama shirts, and then we'll pack them. Okay. Okay, that there. And there's the Mater mm -hmm. one. We're taking Mater. I believe these are all shirts that have been sent to us from our wonderful viewers. And there's Stitch. Yes. Ruta bala puta. <laughs> Alexa, pause. All right, so the next thing, what do we need to add next? Socks and underwear. We've got the underwear in there. Socks. Yes, and we've picked out some shorts, right? Yeah. We have some shorts right here. We're going to put those in this packing cube. And yes, why don't you get me um, six pairs of socks, okay? Okay. That's one pair. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this time for our trip, I'm thinking of just... Packing, just folding this over and packing the shirts on the hangers. We always bring extra hangers because most of the places we stay do not have enough hangers. So we're going to try and see how that works okay, in the Okay, that's what that looks like. 
I think that's going to work okay. And I think it will help to keep the shirts from getting very wrinkled. What do you think of that idea, Craig? That would be clever. Okay. We have your shirts, and my shorts. shorts, and socks and underwear. Okay, what else do we need? Uh, no. We need deodorant, right? Deodorant. And a toothbrush. Yep. Okay. And toothpaste. Yeah, why don't you put one of those in your... Can you open them and just take one out and put one in your suitcase? All right, so we have your toothbrush, right? Yeah. And we'll probably just all use the same toothpaste, so we won't need to pack that in yours, right? Right. Unless you want to get one for yourself. We'll all stay the same toothpaste. Okay, and then we have your deodorant. Yep. And some bathroom cups, because you like to have those cups in the bathroom. Yeah. And we have an extra pair of shoes that we're going to pack. And we found out on one of, well, actually two of our trips, we found out it's good to have extra shoes. The first time, remember what happened in Disneyland with your shoes? They hurt. Yeah, and there was, you actually had worn a hole in the insole. So when we were at... Um, Halloween Bash. Yeah, Craig's feet were hurting real bad. And when we got home, we found out it was because he had worn a hole through his insoles in his shoes and his... His foot was like always stepping down on that hole right on the bottom of his shoe. So um, that time, Joe happened to have an extra pair of insoles with him and put them in Craig's shoes. The next last time we went to Florida, it rained, right? Yeah. And your feet and your shoes got soaking wet. But luckily, we had taken along an extra pair of shoes because of what happened in California. So we had an extra pair of shoes that Craig could wear that were dry. So from now on... We always bring an extra pair of shoes to Florida, right? Right. So let's see. We will get these things put into our packing cubes. We have this shoe one. We've put the extra shoes in. I think it might fit right in here. And then this has his toiletries in it. And then we have this whole other half. And what will we do with this other half? Probably pack things that won't fit in my suitcase. <laughs> Um, cause I can't think of anything else that Craig really needs to pack. We've upgraded him to a larger suitcase and I've mentioned before, uh, we always fly Southwest. Why do we fly Southwest, Craig? Missouri to Florida. Yeah. Why do we like to fly on Southwest? Can you think Relaxing. of anything? Yeah. Um, one of the big reasons that we choose Southwest, number one, we usually find the best deal on Southwest, unless you want to go with one of the budget airlines like Allegiant, and there are many reasons why we don't take Allegiant, and it really only ever comes up to being about $100 cheaper than Southwest, and, and that's not worth it, because on Allegiant, you even have to pay for your bags, but on Southwest, you get to fly two bags free. Those are included with your fare, so we take duffel bags in our suitcases and then on the way home we put our clothes and softer items in the duffel bags and pack if we bought any souvenirs we have plenty of room to bring those back with us so i got craig a bigger suitcase this time that way we'll be able to fit extra items into a hard suitcase and that works well for us do you have any other thoughts on packing craig plain snacks yeah, we need to pack those. We still need to pack Craig's backpack. And in his backpack, what do you take all in your backpack, Craig? My iPad. Mm-hmm. Roscoe. Right. And this is Roscoe. My Simp Garfield calendar. Roscoe is sporting his holiday wear. We still need to find another stocking for his foot. I have one yeah. somewhere. Yeah, you like to take your calendar with you, right? Mm -hmm. Right now, Craig has this Garfield calendar. Every year for Christmas, Craig gets a new calendar, right? Yep. Um, so we need Roscoe, plain snacks, mm -hmm. a calendar, and an iPad. Yep. And headphones. Yep. Right? Right. I, I think that's all. Yep. So we'll have to get that all together, too. And I think you'll pretty much be ready to go then, unless we think of something else that we right. have forgotten. But I think we've got everything else for you for now. My goodness, Libby's playing with the slime. Oops, we're just about to go off the table here. And she is putting her characters into the slime. And what are they in, Libby? What are eggs? They're in eggs. And then sometimes the eggs hatch, right? Libby says an egg is hatching. Uh oh, here it comes. <gasps> you did it. 
Oh, she got to join her mama. Oh, okay. It's time to feed the birds. They've been waiting. What's the matter? Josie's mad at me because I combed her hair. Yeah, I'm sorry. I made the girls a blanket for it with a card table. Oh, someone's escaping. Okay, here we go. Disney's Mickey and Friends, Vote for Minnie, by Brooke Vitale, illustrated by the Disney Storybook Art Team. Mickey, Minnie, and their friends are hiking with the Adventure Club. The club's president, Ludwig von Drake, leads the way. The leader of the club is called the president. Look, Minnie says. She points at the mountain in the distance. We should climb out steepness. This for our next adventure. Great idea, Minnie, Ludwig said, but that will be up to the next club president. Next president? Uh, Minnie asked. Ludwig nodded. Being president is hard work. It's time for someone to, new to lead the club. I'll be the president, Pete says. He turns to the other club members. I'm in charge now, he shouts. Not so fast, Pete, Ludwig said. Someone else might want to be president. We need to have an election. You should run for president, Minnie, says Mickey. You would make a great candidate. Minnie likes the idea. How does an election work, she asks. Ludwig says, first, you have to get your name on the ballot. How do we do that, Pete asks. Twenty club members need to sign your petition. Ludwig says, then you need to raise awareness, then come up with a platform. The next day, Minnie stands outside the Adventure Club. Goofy walks by. What you doing, Minnie? He says. I'm collecting signatures, Minnie says. Gorge, that's a funny thing to collect, Goofy says. I'll stick with my rubber ball collection. <laughs> rubber ball collection. It's not that kind of collection, Goofy, Minnie says. I need 20 signatures on my petition to run for club president. Well, why didn't you say so? Goofy asks. Goofy signs Minnie's petition. Then he signs it again and again. There you go, Minnie, he says. Minnie gets 20 different signatures. She is on the ballot. But people won't vote for her if they don't know she's running Minnie. Minnie needs to raise awareness. Minnie will ask her friends for help. On her way to Mickey's house, she sees Pete. He is, he is giving away popcorn to raise awareness. Minnie and her friends come up with some great ideas to raise awareness. Mickey scoops ice cream. Donald and Daisy hang posters. Goofy tries to make balloon animals. Now Minnie needs to find out what club members want in the leader. In a leader. The next club event is helping baby sea turtles to the water. As Minnie helps, she talks to the club members. She listens to their ideas. As Mickey and Minnie are, are leaving the beach, they see Pete building something. Hiya, Pete, Mickey says. What you doing? Ludwig said we need to build a platform, Pete says. Minnie giggles. I don't think that's the kind of platform Ludwig meant. The next day, Minnie and Pete have a debate to talk about their platforms. I will plan safe for adventures while bird watching, Pete says. Minnie thinks club members want more daring adventures. How about hot air ballooning, deep sea diving, or hang gliding, she says. After the debate, Goofy polls the audience. Everyone, I polled in, in voting for you, he tells Minnie. That's great, she says. Who did you ask? Goofy grins, Mickey and Daisy. Thanks, Goofy, Minnie says. 
but I think we need a, to ask a few more people. Soon it was it is election day. Minnie takes her ballot to the private booth. She fills it in the circle next to her name. Minnie looks around. She is happy to see so many people voting. Finally, it is time to count the votes. Pete got 24 votes. Minnie got 28 votes. Goofy got one vote. Oops, says Goofy. I thought I was supposed to sign my name. Minnie is the winner. Congratulations, Pete says, shaking Minnie's hand. You will be a great president. A few days later, Minnie leads the club as they climb Mount Steepness. Way to go, President Minnie. The end. And this is Craig E. Vammer saying, if you like this video, click like and subscribe. And keep on having a great day.